Hey guys, what's happening? It's Ninja Demo Esquire, and if I sound a little congested or like I have a cold, it's because I do. Um, so that sucks. But um, I found this gym yesterday, the Kong Skull Island 18-inch posable Kong mega figure. That's kind of redundant. But anyway, um, only at Walmart. I found it yesterday and I was pretty stoked. This is kind of like the crown jewel. Um, especially since I missed out on um, Kong uh, toys from the Peter Jackson film, which I really liked. Um, I don't know if I'm the minority there. I mean, critics liked it, but I don't know if, if people liked it. Um, I also got some other great finds yesterday. Uh, what did I get? Um, Best Buy has some great deals on Blu-rays right now. Um, so, like, I got Ghost in the Shell for 8 bucks. Um, the original 25th anniversary, I think it's the 25th anniversary of Triple X is out. Um, so you can go get that. Um, I got the Kong. I'm going to bring it over here. From This is from Barnes & Noble. Kong of Skull Island. I read some of the comics. I just couldn't keep up with them. Boom Studios. It's kind of like the prequel of uh the kong movies um so yeah it was like an overall spree to just feel better again and i guess it worked for the time it did so anyway um as you can tell i've ripped the hell out of this packaging um they keep him in there pretty tight and i haven't even opened the figure that comes with him because look you can see the little twist tie that's in there um i don't know what is going on with these sort of retro stylings um, this figure appears to be pretty basic. I don't, you know, it doesn't look like he can bend his elbows. It doesn't look like his legs bend. I mean, I could be 100% wrong on this. I, you know, I do like how they have feet pegs, so you could always, uh, stand him up in a certain way. I like how he comes with a bazooka, sort of, um, yeah. I don't know. I just, I don't get it. I'm not sure. It, the whole thing reeks of just being cheap, to be quite honest. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like I said, I tore the hell out of the packaging. This is what you need to do if you want to get to your Kong figure. So, that's really cool. I'm curious if that will be a scene in the movie where, like, you've got the snake thing and also the pterodactyl thing coming at him. Mega figure. <laughs> I love how they just keep referring to it, because there are no other small Kong figures. Like, this is it, um, which I kind of like the idea of, and at the same time, it's like, no, nah, I kind of like a smaller version, too. But anyway, with this epic mega figure, you, all caps, get to decide how Kong became king. I mean, I don't know. Is that really... So I guess you just get to, you know, revisionist history. Fake, fake fantasy. Fake news. Um... Take control of the mighty monster as he protects our world from the most powerful creatures on Skull Island. A 100-foot mountain of muscle. So you get the actual specs on how tall he is. That's cool. Kong stands tall in the face of danger. Get ready for battle with the new king of action. And again, they're really they're pushing this whole monarch thing. Um... What does that even say? Mon monster verse. Okay, right. Um, this is pretty cool. They actually make the figures look better than they are. But it shows all the monsters right there. It shows kind of like the, you know, the vehicles and stuff. The vehicle things don't really impress me. I guess if you want to set up a scene, um, you know, with all the monsters, you can. But, again, I mean, this line is just... Yeah. It's a little cheap. I mean, who makes it? I'm trying to... Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to find who actually makes this damn thing. Um, it is... Lannard. Lannard Toys Limited. From Hong Kong. Made in China. I mean, look, that's not really the problem. I mean, all toys are made in, you know... Everything's made overseas. Um... But anyway, I just, I mean, this looks like something I'd find at a dollar store. Um, I will say they keep the price points pretty reasonable. So all other Kong sets, if you want like a standard Kong set, it's 10 bucks, and you get a lot for it. Like you'll get the vehicle and the monster. 
um, and the character and stuff. So that's kind of neat. And then I guess they also keep it at this like pretty good, um, you know, like kids can play with it if they really want. Even though my understanding is the movie's supposed to be, you know, uh, kind of. I don't know if it's like family friendly per se or maybe like older kids. I don't know. Whatever. So anyway, here we go. Bam! Look at him. I do like the overall design. Um, he stands 18 inches tall. Articulation is pretty lame. I mean, it's it. His head moves. His head moves uh, from side to side. Um, it's kind of hard to do with one single hand. But um, and then they were pretty specific on the fact that his arms move. So you can do chest pumping action or thumping. I should really do, I, I need to get like a mount or something. So anyway, there you go. I mean, you can see you've got an elbow joint here. You've got a joint, at, uh, well, shoulder, elbow, and hand, which I don't know. It doesn't, I mean, it's not like, I don't think the hand spins all the way around. Um, other than that, I mean, it's a pretty, you know, I mean, he has half, he's heavy, but the legs don't move. The feet do swivel. They move a little bit. Um, let's see if he stands on his own. Yeah, he does. So that's kind of cool. Um, but I mean, you know, there's some simple things that could have been done here. Like the jaw could have open and closed. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, you know, it's kind of whatever. I mean, um, really, the coolest thing about this is you've got a giant Kong toy. Um, that is at a reasonable price point. It was like 24 at Walmart. And I'm probably going to sell this bad boy because I don't really... I like the idea of something that stands in comparison. You know, like, oh, the soldiers and he's going to, you know... But, like, even then, like, is that really to scale? Wouldn't he be an incredibly small... Yeah, it's not even close. Um, if this thing is supposed to be 100 feet, is that... That's what it said, mountain of muscle. I mean, I like the scar action here. Um, again, I mean, this thing has some real heft to it. So if you, like, threw this at somebody, it would hurt them. Um, but it's just a huge piece of plastic. That's really all it is. Um... So, what you're getting is the novelty. Um, it's the only game in town. I don't know of any other Kong toys that are going to be coming out. Um, the packaging is whatever. I mean, you know, he's safely secure in there. I mean, I do like this. But then, you know, 18-inch pose. I guess they don't say, like, at least, thankfully, they weren't, like, mega posable. I mean, their big catch is chest beating fully articulated arms so it's not like they're trying to fool anybody um and if you really just took a look at i mean you know it's not like the figure's hidden within the package so you can kind of see what you're getting um i don't know it's so yeah i guess i recommend this to anyone who wants a giant 18 inch kong figure um of any sort that's cool other than that, um, perhaps this is cool for kids. I'm not really sure, to be honest. I wish this was given out to like a better toy line, like NECA, to be quite honest. Or, I don't know, just anyone else. I just wish they had better toys, because these all feel kind of dollar store-esque. Um, but yeah, so that's my recommendation. Um, I don't know, was that a review? I think it was. I feel like you can get hints of disappointment. You can see that Really, if you're going to, you know, play with this thing, he's only, you know, there are limited things you can possibly do. You know, another thing that kind of bugs me now that I'm thinking about it, so a figure could, in theory, fit in this hand, but it can't really fit here. And I guess they were just really, really uh, hell-bent on that whole chest-pumping, you know, thumping action. I don't know. So anyway, uh, bare minimum, I think, done with this figure, the details are whatever. I mean, he's more or less kind of the same all over. 
Um, but he does kind of look like the movie Gorilla, so that's kind of neat. Or the movie Kong or whatever. Um, yeah. So this was Ninja Domo Esquire for St. Jane Media. Sorry, guys, I have a cold. Um, but I'm glad I could bring you this review. I'm still super stoked that I got it. It's kind of like a fun novelty for me. Um, go to St. Jane Media. Check out all the awesome articles. You get stuff like, you know, reviews of this, reviews of games, anime, comics, movies, whatever. I mean, we even get into politics. There's nothing that's that's off the table for St. Jane Media. Like... If it's, if it's uh, interesting, we're going to talk about it, and we're going to put it on there, and uh, it's a great place, so please support us. Please like this video, share it, tell your friends about it. Um, follow me on Twitter, that's N-I-N-J-A-D-O-M-O-E-S-Q. Um, I'm also on Instagram. Follow um, Phil the Pill, P-H-I-T-H-E-P-I-L-L, -L, um, the founder of St. James Media. And, uh, you know, he writes some good stuff, and we've got new people coming in all the time. I hope you guys like this video. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you down the road. Bye.